Hi Scorpio, welcome to Spirit Kitty Tarot. This is your reading for the month of September till the 30th of September. And I will be doing three questions at the end of the video. And then if you've been catching these videos recently up till the 13th of September, Halloween, I'm doing spooky stories at the end. If you are interested in that kind of thing, stick around. So let's get started. Okay, Scorpio, you know the drill. This row represents all the things that are in the light for you, the things that you are aware of. And the second row, the Tarot of the Night, tells us all the things that maybe you've oppressed or things that are not obvious to you are in the dark for you. So the first card is the Queen of Wands. This is... Um, this, if you look closely at the card, this is you standing in your ground and being comfortable at where you are, the space at where you, you are at currently, it's something that you've created for yourself because behind her is the field of sunflowers and there's also her crown on the wand that's hanging from the wand. So this is your territory and you are guarding it. You're sitting in front of it comfortably. And if you see all the ground that's underneath her, um, there's a field of sunflowers on one side and then there's unexplored land that you are sitting on. There, there isn't growth there. So maybe you are in a place where you, you are comfortable and you are not ready to move on from here or maybe this is just you waiting a little bit until you move on to further grounds to maybe conquer more land more territory enhance your skills um, and move towards things that can bring you more and with the ten of wands right after that that's exactly what's happening you're moving forward you're you're packing up all of your wands and you're moving towards something new maybe this is a, a new job this is or maybe this is just you moving in in the sense that you're moving to one another apartment or another city it's just there's movement and if this isn't you literally moving it might be that you are progressing in in your profession maybe you you are taking up a new project that gives you a lot of growth and it might be it might come with learning new skills and with the dog card that says companionship this is a really good card for you because um with scorpio they might have you might have a bit bit of a hard time um, trusting people because it's just um, being a fixed sign you tend to take things to heart when someone breaks your heart and we do experience that in life and now you are looking for someone that is more of a friend and can be um, a friend for you that that grows with you and you're looking for a companion that you can completely trust and rely on without feeling fearful of getting hurt and with the high priestess this is this is you looking at things um, very acutely so you can see the things that are not obvious so you're you're trying to look at the other side of the moon you are perhaps contemplating what um, someone else is doing and what they are planning for you so this is you trying to see into the darkness and 
maybe it's also a journey within maybe you are trying to understand your own feelings about something and with the ten of wands this is you climbing towards new heights this is you maybe social climbing that you you're aspiring to do and you are moving towards so this is a lot of wealth that you are seeking for yourself and you are moving towards it very actively and in the dark row we have the three of pentacles so this is this is you feeling a bit left out in the cold but with the other um, three of pentacles and other decks it's very much visible that the person is outside in the cold but here you can see that this person is making the best of being in the cold that they are using their power to to summon the spirit of the cold so they're literally learning from where they are standing and whatever disappointment comes towards them they know how to deal with it and they somehow um, alchemize it to their own benefit somehow so this is you if something that doesn't go your way you you kind of squeeze the juice out of those lemons and call it a day and with the devil there is a, a situation ship that is wearing you down and it's someone that you might feel it, it's taking they're taking advantage of you there's someone that's close to you and they have gotten under your skin and right next to it we have the ace of cups so this is definitely someone that you are you have given your heart to and you think that they take advantage of your feelings towards them so or this might be someone in the past that it wasn't something that worked out maybe they were not right for you and after that you are now accepting things on your own terms you are coming to light basically you are you're rejuvenating yourself you're relishing the time alone and you're you're growing you're loving yourself you are with the wheel you you understand how the cycle works for you now you're understanding how your own patterns work so there is a lot of growth happening here you understand why you did certain things and how you can deal with your own feelings the next time when this cycle starts up again so this is you getting the hang of your own patterns and with the three of wands you are wielding your power and you're um You have a wand in your hand and a skull so this is a water energy despite being in wands because she is standing in water she's doing perhaps a ritual that um, so you are manifesting something that is I think it's dead something that's dead and you are trying to to um, manifest something that's over and you are trying to um, bring it back so you can redeem yourself somehow so what do we have for you from your guides we have the peacock, peacock card and it says prosperity so you are completely opening up to the world as you you yourself are you are embracing yourself and you are opening up to the world and presenting all that you are without any remorse of who you have become now and you're seeking 
wealth for yourself and you're seeking abundance with that openness so you are not just moving towards abundance and wealth while um, hiding yourself in the way that you you're not um, keeping anything hidden and you're not working for other people so you're not on someone else's clock and schedule and time but rather you're doing your job but you're doing it for yourself and you're setting up boundaries you're for yourself healthy ones and you're also setting maybe healthy schedules for yourself where you can enjoy life and with the will card well the tiger card it says will it you are willing things into existence you're again you are summoning active things into your life which they bring you prosperity and a lot of passion you're going towards things with a lot of passion and you also with the dog card that we had in the first row you are um you're summoning healthy relationships that give you as much as you give back so there is an equal give and take there now the three questions for you scorpio think of the three questions think of your three questions if you need to pause to think your question please do pause feel free to pause and the first question the answer to it is the page of pentacles this is the universe telling you that there is money coming towards you maybe um this might be a new project or this might be some money that you are owed by someone and they hadn't returned it and now maybe they're coming um, to you with that money so it's a message about some money or maybe it's just some material thing that you've been waiting for or you you won't even be waiting for it might be a surprise out of the blue you might get a message a news about money or wealth or any terms of material gain that would be good for you and the second question the answer to is the strength the universe is telling you to um, brace yourself and move towards what you want without any qualms and without any reservations because um, you worked hard hard for it so rather than now being fearful of the unexpected you just move towards what you want because you've been wanting this for a long time and the third question the answer to it is the king of pentacles so we have three yeses and the king of pentacles is someone that is secure and stable and they they've reserved wealth for themselves over a period of time so they are secure enough that they can take risks even and maybe they'll get even more out of it more bountiful things if they because this card comes with um the fear of losing whatever you've you saved up for yourself but it's also secure enough that maybe if you take up um a risk that and that might really add to your wealth and if it's calculated enough if you don't take risks just randomly calculate them and see if they're really good for you and if you want to this is something that you want to move towards so this is you being comfortable and the universe is telling you you are comfortable you've been here you've built a nest for yourself and if you see an opportunity where you can make more for yourself grow more 
this might be a good chance for you and if you're you're not comfortable with it you are completely in in that surrounding where you don't need to feel that you need to step out even if you don't want to um okay so there you have it scorpio now for the spooky story i actually forgot to think of one <laughs> but i i do have plenty of them um okay so i'm going to tell you one of my sister's stories of, again of this room <laughs> that you were seeing in the video um one of my sisters was asleep because two sister my sister they shared this room for a long while and one of them was asleep here and the other had gone to my other sister's room and the sister sleeping woke up to someone standing at the door and she thought that this was my sister that had that shared the room with her and she started saying her name she kept repeating her name is it you um she kept saying her name no one replied back the figure standing didn't reply back and ultimately my sister reached out and just tried to grab her hand or just grab her a little bit touch her to see why she wasn't responding and there was nothing there her hand just moved through air nothing there and she freaked out she started screaming my sister's name until both two both of my sisters that were in the room other room came running in and asked her what had happened and she kept saying you were here you were here i just saw you and why didn't you reply and she was she kept saying i'm i wasn't here what what happened mm -hmm. then my sister told her that the whole thing that had happened so one of those stories <laughs> so there you have it scorpio um please do comment about your own spooky experiences and i will be here for you again maybe i'll be doing another um video tomorrow and i'm doing another one right after this so if you're just interested in the spooky stories and it's not your zodiac sign catch the spooky stories skip to the ends and hear them so like share and subscribe i really appreciate you being here thank you so much take care